Oh boy, oh boy, the business information systems. Now, these may have been overwhelming for you in the past, or maybe now they seem overwhelming, and they're generally not presented well, I gotta say. So I'm gonna pat myself on the back and say that I presented them pretty well. There's just a bunch of systems, right? So what's a system? I mean, it's just it's a broad term because it's a system could be we take paper from this and put it in the tray there and it gets mailed out, you know, to the wherever it needs to go. That's technically a system. Uh, a system could be, your, again, your database, your DMS uh, database management system where you store all of your client files. So it's a broad term, right? It could be a combination of physical and digital electronic steps. There's just so many different types. You could have your system where you enter journal entries. We just need to know all of these terms, you know, generally the ones in bold, and need to know little facts about them. For example, what is a management from information system? It's a pretty broad one. And this is the company data management for strategic planning. So it's just the system that management uses you know, think of, uh, you know, Salesforce CRM, right? They've got all their, their systems and everything. Some of you might be familiar with it. Some of you might not be. This is, you know, they, they provide different uh, systems, right? Decision support systems. What are these systems? Well, these are systems that management use to make decisions. They're interactive systems for what if scenarios and forecasting. So with management information systems, it's really just any system that they use for strategic planning management that would be. And under that, we've got decision support systems. Well, this could be even just a Excel model, right? Where it says, oh, what if we decreased our sales forecast by 5%? And maybe you've got your Excel file linked to a bunch of charts and everything. And, and you, I mean, maybe Altrix, Tableau, right? You've got all these different visualization softwares and you can see what happens if sales decrease by 5%. How does it affect margins? How does it affect uh, share price? How does it affect any of that? That would be an example of a decision support system. Under this, we've got accounting information systems. Well, these are customizable, but usable for any type of business. It's a broad term that really just exists. And we'll see examples of these. They do create an audit trail, which is an important point to know for accounting information systems. As an accountant, you may work with a TPS, the Transaction Processing System, that just reminds me from uh, Office Space, which absolute quality movie if anyone has not seen it. Are you done with those TPS reports yet? Oh man, gonna, go, gonna have to go watch that one at some point. It's really a classic American satire on working in an office. Well, really pretty straightforward, right? Transaction Processing System, which just processes the transactions that a company may conduct on a day-to-day -day or weekly basis or where Ever it may be. Under there, we've got management reporting system, right? Management just reporting literally anything, just knowing that these are under the AIS. Fin financial reporting system, this could generate the financial statements and general ledger system. This is where you enter your journal entries. All of these have audit trails so you can see who entered what, when did they enter it. You can hopefully track down if there are any falsified journal entries. Super important for all of us. Wonderful, phenomenal, fantastic accountants. I could use more positive words. You know, I think we all need a little bit more positive words to reinforce how great we are. But yes, all of us accountants will be using some of these at least at some point in companies. What about the executive information system? also known as the executive support system. Well, these are high level reports for senior executives in order to assist them with decision making. These are likely to be the most widely used and largest business subsystems. A broad term, but most widely used, used by executives and decision making, you know, really just try your best to know what I've got here in blue and just generally kind of understand this, memorize how it looks. What's under what? Um, you know, like these systems. Are you going to need to know these? Uh, I highly doubt it, but they're just there to give you an indication of what is under the AIS, right? Like, what's an example of the components of an accounting information system? Now, ERP, the Enterprise Resource Management System, this manages the whole company data. Now, intranet is essentially just the internal system, the internal network of a company, right? It, you've got the internet, which is everyone. We're all connected to that. 
this is your internal company's internet you could think of. It's like you could think of uh, like North Korea's internal intranet. You know, they've got their own internet. Uh, multiple systems such as sales, accounting operations, etc., are all centralized. Uh, this is their one massive, everything under one roof, all in the same house. So you can go in and make changes and you know, manage everything having to do with your business all together. And it all links up. Everything's communicating with each other and talking. Lastly here, just a point to know for possible multiple choice question. The greatest impact on the design of any management information system is the types of decisions that need to be made with it. But that pretty much makes sense. I mean, you're going to build a house generally for what its purposes are. If it's meant to house 10 people, you're going to probably put 10 bedrooms in there. You know, if you need a, a system that has strong security because there's a lot of fraud, you're probably going to put a lot of security in there. So the greatest impact on the design of any system, I'd say any system at all, is really just what types of decisions need to be made with that system. Just build the system for what it is needed for. Pretty uh, pretty understandable, I would say. <laughs> I think so. You might disagree. But awesome, awesome. We're doing well. Stay strong with me. We are doing our best. All right. CRM, which is actually Salesforce's stock ticker. And why is that? Well, because they like to brag that they're the best at customer relationship management. CRM is going to help you store customer data, email them periodically, predict what they might need, how they need it. It's really just how you manage everything having to do with your customer. So, oh, you haven't ordered in a while. You might want to order more. That's example of what this system could do. Uh, you've got three types of CRMs. I wouldn't worry too much about those. All good in that department. Supply chain management. This is the who, what, where, when, why, how, all the million questions, right, of inventory management. So supply chain management system. This deals with every step along the way of how you manage inventory. Who do the goods get shipped to? What are the goods? Where are they going? When are they being shipped? And how is the inventory being shipped? This is all under the roof of the supply chain management system. Hey there, are you ready to not only pass your CPA exams, but truly understand and enjoy the material while studying? I know it seems impossible, right? Especially to enjoy the material? We'll do it together. Tap into the power of cpa.examprep.ai, where we've got personalized quizzes, multiple choice questions, memorization guides, flashcards, simulations, all tailored to your learning. Our adaptive study planning puts you on the fastest path to success and lifts you back up if you fall behind. Avoid wasting your precious time and money attempting an exam with a low chance of passing because who wants that? We want to get you through this process as quick as possible. Our exam readiness prediction lets you walk in with confidence knowing that you're prepared for success on exam day. Thankfully, there's no payment method needed to get started. So why don't you come join us? Visit cpa.examprep.ai and let's achieve your exam success together.